We use the Learn Create Share model which has come from the Manaya Kalani and we're in the Ako Hego cluster and we use that as a basis for our students to take ownership over their learning. You don't always have to start with the learn, you can start with the create and from the create hands on experiences the students learn from that and then they're empowered to share their learning back. It's really important at Wesley that our students feel empowered to have agency and ownership over their learning and we provide them with a lot of choices in their learning and a lot of multimodal choices as well. So not just technology but through the experiences that we provide them. We have learning experiences every Monday and that starts off with a create experience where they can problem solve in a group and that leads the learning across all curriculum areas for that week. We do get to make choices about our learning but that makes me like feel good because we get to choose like something that could be challenging for us and it gives us like a way better a better way to um become more smart and learn more. To start each of our terms we ask the students what they would like to learn about and what they're passionate about so that we can co-construct our learning and we always review it at the end of the term as well. Collecting student voice is really important to us. Culturally sustaining practice is key for us here. We do a lot of hands-on learning and a lot of student choice, a lot of following their passions and what they're interested in and we're currently doing our DIMIC Maths, developing mathematical inquiries communities and that's all around them and student-centred so they're really at the heart of what we do. Sometimes I feel proud of myself, like um, when we, like yeah, when we we can make sometimes our own choices of cultural. So like we have cultural practice now because we have like um, we're performing in front of a big crowd and um, yeah. Our students use technology daily and a range of technology. You've got micro bits, robotics. Um, Chromebooks, iPads, they create their own Kia News where they capture snippets from the week that they're excited to share with their whanau and the wider community. Kia News is like, so obviously we begin with Welcome to Kia News, like, um, yeah, and um, we record about what we did, like what we went to, like trips, so like say we went to the museum like we took so we take some pictures and stuff to put on Kia News. It makes us feel happy and proud that like we can share um, some of our work during the week to um, families and people outside that can see outside of our school that can see um, what we have been doing during the week. We also have got a new build coming and at the moment the students have been really involved in that process of designing their own furniture that they'd like to take to the new build. So one kid on Tinkercad designed a table with a little Lego drop down box in the middle of the table and we've actually gone to the furniture distributors and we've bought it so he's really excited about that. So yeah just giving them real life opportunities and problem solving through the use of technology to enhance that um, has been really powerful for our students. So we have a workshop wall where we have a collaborative environment with four teachers currently and 100 students and we have the focuses up on the workshop wall with the teachers that will be leading it and the students put their photo to choose which workshop they'd like to be in based on what they feel that they need to continue to work on and grow with and that's been really empowering for them um, and really mana enhancing for them to have that choice over their learning and which teacher they're with and at first it started with um, teachers having to place them and then it got really into mixed ability and students having their ownership. It makes me happy because like if say your teachers picked your book but then you didn't really <laughs> like that book, that that's how I feel sometimes. Um, but like sometimes I'm away so they would have to pick a book for you. So back in the days, say for example in your afternoon block, you might have a topic that you learn about and that's lots of fun, but it didn't give students enough freedom to have choice and empowerment over their learning. So what we do is we lead STEAM, so science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics every afternoon here at Wesley with the year four to six cohort. And what we're trying to do through that is build on their experiences and opportunities and for them to see science, technology and engineering as pathways that they could take in the future and trying to develop that. We've had uh, mags come in and do rockets with our kids and we've gone to Ko-Fi and done micro bits. And so we're just really trying through the STEAM to broaden those opportunities and experiences. We've seen heaps of positive changes in young people's self-efficacy and confidence towards giving things a go, towards making mistakes, towards trying lots of innovative ideas, whereas originally when I first came, 
you might have the traditional way of teaching and you have your tumble when you're reading tumble, your maths tumble, but now it's really developed and it's really student led and the students are leading their own learning. They're able to tell you their learning goals and their next steps, which is really um, empowering for us as teachers to see them taking that ownership.